It's high summer on top of the Arctic's largest block of ice, the enormous two kilometer deep Greenland ice sheet. Scientists are literally trying to get to the bottom of it, drilling down to better understand the sheet's past and its future as it continues to shrink in a warming planet. We suspect that there is meltwater at the bedrock and that's why the ice can move that fast in an ice stream. But that is something we will only know when we get to the bedrock. This summer has seen the temperature spike to almost zero high up on the sheet. Researchers say a widespread melting event across the sheet happened just once in the last millennium, but four times since the year 2000. If you're close to melting, the ice gets really sticky and the, the, the skis, they stick. Uh, and uh, also the, the, the airplanes, they actually break up the ski way. So uh, it's, it's really hard to do uh, landing and takeoff. But more importantly, a melting ice sheet in Greenland means rising sea levels worldwide. Thousands of kilometres away in the Alps, Swiss glaciologist Andreas Linsbauer has never seen anything like this year. Before 2022, the deepest drop in ice level he'd seen was one metre. So we have already melt, uh, melt of two metres um, and it's midway of summer. Tourists don't even need to measure the difference. You don't see it always in nature, the, the consequences, and now you really see it like, oh my God, I was here like 15 years ago and now the snow is gone and the the rivers and the mountains are not there anymore. It's a similar story in Western Canada, where scientists say 70% of glaciers will be gone by the end of the century, with huge potential consequences for freshwater supplies. The record summer of 2021 only accelerated their retreat. I can't move it. In Switzerland, this hiker says he won't be around to see the long-term effects but says he's worried for what these melts will mean for his grandchildren. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.